Simo, a real tough game today, really physical. Both teams left nothing out there. How do you reflect on that? Uh, I think it was the game we kind of predicted. They're, they're such a good side and uh, we didn't get a couple of things quite right. But, you know, full credit to them. When you look back at your career at Harlequins, some massive games, especially the last two years, what memories are you going to take away with, with you? I mean, obviously last year was very special, but I think all the little things, um, just the little coffees we go for, the training ground tomfoolery, um, yeah, all those little bits and bobs that you guys probably don't see. That, um, yeah, that, that's the special kind of, that's the special stuff. The last 18 months has felt like a bit of a rebuild here at Harlequins. Just how proud are you of the legacy that you're going to leave behind? Really proud, actually. I feel like the jersey is in a, it's in a really good spot. I've got a, I've, I see a lot in George Hammond. Um, I love the kid, and uh, hopefully he can uh, start next season and, and hit the ground running. Um, a message for the fans before you leave this club: How important have they been to you in the last couple of years? I've just noticed such a change since when I joined in 2018 uh, in the fans, and I think we've kind of restored a bit of pride in the jersey, and, and it's such an honour playing for this this. Uh, it's a great club and I'm going to miss it a lot. And what next for Simo? Some time off, a bit of holiday or are you going straight into the working world? I have taken a few months off just to chill out and kind of decompress from it all. It's been a long run and uh, yeah, a bit of time with the family is needed.